What, what made you like contribute towards this food project? I well, mean, uh, first of all, remember I'm a human being, and mm -hmm. I know that uh, it's not everybody who is lucky, you know, to first of all live in a city and to get access to the water, to the electricity, and we want also the kids. You know, I'm also an ambassador of the UNICEF. I want the kids to be able to uh, to get access to the uh, education. Then uh, this community is quite far away from any civilization, let's say like this, and we wanted to help the kids, put them to school allow the parents to, 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 to get the water and, uh, and at, you know, at least to have a base of a normal living. Luckily, I've um, been a footballer for, for, for maybe 20 years that I'm retired and I have a bit of time to spend to, to use my image, first of all, to create some events, to create some kind of emulation, to be able to, uh, to help and raise the money to afterwards uh, be uh, you know effective on, on the ground with that money then then that's why I'm I'm part of Emma Foundation and when you meet somebody also I've met Emma who is the uh, foundator of the of the uh, few years ago and from there I decided to to, to help her uh, on, on her own project so what do you think about the progress made so far I mean the project has been uh, it's been uh, huge. Uh, I mean now we have access to water, the kids have access to school plus the books. We have the road, which is now much more uh, uh, you know better. I mean it's it's going slowly. It's not easy, uh, uh, but uh, you know Emma is giving uh, you know a lot of energy on that, and we are happy about it. So what do you hope the project can do for the community and what should people do to contribute to? I mean, we, we consult the elders and we try and help them, you know, first of all, for the kids to have the respect uh, and for them to grow up uh, in, a, in, a, in a good environment. And also we are having, uh, trying to make them having all the facilities, the access to the world, talking about the water, we're talking about education. And these are the, the two uh, important things for us, you know having a living, those kids who are here who normally should have not get any chances, you know, to express themselves, have now possibility through education to express themselves and maybe one of them will have a talent, not especially sports, but will have a talent in, in law, we have a talent in architecture, uh, all those things that we are now trying to stimulate and give them the, the, the access of those things. Thank you very much. Okay. I'm not going to go to the house. 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 I